how humans are affecting the biosphere. People affect the biosphere every second of the day, whether it be driving a gas-compatible car, cutting down forest trees, global warming, or littering that eventually reaches the ocean. Everyone's doing it. At some time, our, mo uh, our Mother Earth will no longer be able to take it anymore, and who knows what would happen. There are ways to fix these things, and if we are capable of destroying Earth, we are able to get it back to normal. These are some explained examples of the different ways humans affect our planet. Number one, global warming. Global warming is caused by greenhouse gases such as CO2 and methane. These gases come from things such as uh, human activity, forest fires, volcanic activities, and decomposition. Uh, number two, deforestation. The main cause for de deforestation is the want for farmland, industry, and wood production. A solution to come with these problems are to harvest young forests and not old growth forests. This comes in relation to global warming because it decreases levels of O2 and in increases levels of carbon dioxide smoke. Number three, soil erosion. The main problem this, ca this can cause is landslides during heavy rain weather. Rich soil can also be put to waste because a lot of a lot of it goes into ditches. Number four, DDT. This cheap, highly toxic, uh, highly toxic chemical was banned in 1972. This chemical almost made the bald eagle extinct. It is absorbed in ground and river water. It is also used in pesticide, and some animals can consume it in their food and water. Always reduce, reuse, and recycle. Try buying energy efficient products. Buy a more efficient car. Use less hot water, which saves energy for heating. Don't leave things running, like your game or TV. Plant more trees. Encourage others to get involved. Build green homes and buildings. Drive smarter and more energy efficient cars. Turn down the heater during the day and when you are sleeping. When brushing your teeth, Turn off the water until you actually need it. Reduce tropical deforestation. Support solutions that reduce U.S. oil use. Use a compact fluorescent light bulb, which saves 60% 60, 60 more energy than normal light bulbs. Install pro programmable thermostats. Clean or replace filters on furnace or air conditioners. Don't let heat escape from your house over a long period of time. Cover your pots while cooking. Use a washing machine only when it's full. Take a shower instead of a bath. Use a clothesline instead of a dryer whenever it's possible. Insulate and weatherize your home. Recycle your organic waste. Buy fresh foods instead of frozen, which say 10 times more energy. Support lo local farmers markets. Buy only organic foods as much as possible. Drive less or carpool. Try to go solar. Avoid products with a lot of packaging. Try to reuse towels. Try to water your yard early in the morning or late in the day to re reduce evaporation. Use plants that require less water. If negative trends continue, the negative implications of our impact on the biosphere are ominous and many in number. Our Earth's atmosphere is blanketed by a layer of O3, or ozone gas. This gas absorbs harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun and protects us from its dangerous effects. However, chemicals we are releasing in the atmosphere are destroying the substance, leaving us more and more vulnerable to unsafe levels of radiation, potentially causing skin cancer due to its ability to damage the very DNA that makes us up as humans. Similarly, ultraviolet rays can harm our eyes, causing cataracts and other forms of optical damage. In addition, without the ozone layer, certain plants, such as rice, which rely on the help of cyanobacteria to grow, will be unable to survive, as UV light kills these tiny organisms. Not only have we depleted our ozone layer, but due to the re release of greenhouse gases, the temperature of the land and water on our planet has been increasing by 0.25 and 0.13 degrees Celsius per decade. 
meddling with our biosphere has also produced increasingly erratic weather over the years, and will end up with the ultimate effect of mass loss of human life. If this trend, this trend is incredibly dangerous, as higher temperatures will cause polar ice caps and glaciers to melt, raising the level of our ocean's waters and causing massive damage to human civilization by way of flooding. Apart from the chemicals we release into the air, humans have also played a part in causing a, a modern-day mass extinction. It is estimated that within a hundred years, the amount of unique species alive on our planet will have decreased by half, due entirely to human disruption. Deforestation and other forms of habitat destruction are quickly beginning to affect the careful balance of life on Earth. We need to change our ways now, or else risk the human race being wiped out by the forces of nature.